What's going on guys? It's Ali and Marcus from Precision Boxing and MMA. Today we're here to break down how to slip. It's a lot more than just bringing our heads side to side because when people hear that in the beginning they think turn like this and they end up like spilling over the top and you can see I'm not very well balanced right here. So it needs to be a combination of kind of turning our shoulders in and getting our head off line. So we kind of want to break it down in the way that we did it in class the other night and a lot of brand new boxers were slipping like pros right after hearing this. So with that, I'll let Coach Marcus take it away. All right, guys. Uh, the most common thing that happens uh, with new boxers is when we tell them how to slip, they don't really understand how to do it. So I figured out a very simple way to explain it. So what we're going to do here is slipping to our rear side. What I, the, the, two, the motion that I want to do is I want to slowly squat down and then I want to turn my shoulder to my rear side just like that, all right? So it's a squat and a turn to the rear side. That gets me right out of the way. If I just turn my head, if I just tilt my head to the side here, I'm out of the way, but I can't really come back with anything. So I want to squat and turn just like that. So when this punch comes towards me, I can come back with the shot very quickly, all right? So it's a squat, turn, and then put it all together. So squat, turn, boom, squat, turn, just like that, very small movements. And if you notice, my head's right in the middle and then it's slightly off line. Right in the middle, slightly off right. Squat and turn. And when he's doing that, guys, the shoulders are so important. He's not just getting out of the way like he highlighted. He's turning that shoulder so he can load a secondary shot as he comes back. Marcus, do that right in front of the cameras. They can kind of see how that goes. Absolutely. So the squat and turn, a very small squat. I'm not squatting all the way down to the floor. It's just a very small squat. So a small squat, and then I slowly turn to my rear side just like that. I can even add a little bit of a pivot on my leaf foot if I want to, just to have a little bit more balance. So it's going to be a squat, turn, squat, turn, and then I put it all together at once. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Very small movement, very small movement. Little motion, no wasted energy. And we do almost the same thing, right? Going the other way, we just yep. kind of reverse the motion a little exactly. bit. Exactly, so going going to our, re, our lead side, uh, uh, slipping the, the uh, right hand, I'm gonna turn and squat, boom. This side we went to the squat turn, this side we're doing the turn, squat. So I'm pivoting on that back foot, just like I'm throwing a right hand, I pivot on that back foot. The only difference is I don't throw the punch. And then I just do a small squat, just like that. And then I put both motions together. Squat, turn, right hand, it's out of the way. Squat, turn. Turn, squat, there it is. Turn, squat. This way, when I'm loaded right here, I have perfect balance, and I can come back with a left hook, boom, just like that. Like I said before, I can turn my head and get out of the way, but I have no balance here, and I can't really land a good left hook. He's gotta stay right over his hips, so he's solid and grounded. So a drill that I like to do to kind of reinforce this concept once you get it, is we're gonna practice our jab and then we're gonna practice slipping in both directions. So check it out. So Marcus is gonna throw his jab and then first I'm gonna throw my jab back so he's gotta to slip to his rear side like we did first. Boom, just like that. Now, like we said, we're loading shots. So as he slips to that side, he's gonna come back with his right hand. Let's make it a combo. Two, three, two. So he jabs, he slips two, three, two. One more time. He jabs, he slips, two, three, two. Now we just gotta prepare him to go the other way. So all he's gonna do is he's gonna jab, he's gonna slip the other way, getting out of the way of my right hand. He's gonna jab, he's gonna slip, just like that. And now if you notice, he was ready for that hook, right? So that one, when his rear shoulder's turned in, he's loading his lead side. So instead of the two, three, two, he's gonna come back at me with a three, two, three. So he jabs, he slips, three, two, three. He jabs, he slips, three, two, three. Just getting used to that movement, being able to turn and squat and load shots right off of our slips. We want our slips to be able to get our head off line to defend ourselves, but we can't just stand there and stare at them. We gotta come back with something as soon as possible. You always wanna get your head off line, but you want it to be a very quick and small movement. If it's a very big and large movement, your opponent's gonna be able to see it and be able to react accordingly. 